Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. I decided to hop on here and set up my interfaith monthly calendar with you all. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my monthly calendar um, for my faith planner, my interfaith planner, uh, I'm pretty multi-faith. I like to uh, celebrate and practice and learn about various faith systems and uh, religious systems. If you're interested in seeing how I set it all up, um, just keep on watching. Setting up my monthly faith planner is probably one of my favorite things to do. I love setting it up so much. Um, I have a couple of sticker books here that I'm going to be using to help me set it up. Cosmic Watercolor. This one is a new one that I picked up recently. And I like using this one and the Zodiac one in this faith planner because I am very much in tune with astrology and I like keeping track of all the planets and the, the movement of the stars and the sun in my monthly calendar. I also have my Peace Within sticker book, which is perfect for all of like my Christian Catholic type of, you know, faith practices. And I also have this really awesome sticker studio, Apothecary Sticker Gallery. This is a whole book that I got at Barnes and Nobles and it's just filled with witchy type stickers. And oh, this thing is gorgeous. Love this one so much. And I also practice a lot of paganism um, in, in my spiritual life. So those stickers are perfect. So let's get into it. I have here my monthly calendar spread for the month of April. And I already went ahead and took some notes um, from different online websites of things that are happening, you know, this month. There's an interfaith like holiday website I like to reference at the beginning of, of every month where it kind of marks um, uh, all the major holidays of major, you know, religions of the world. And so I have a couple of those notes here. I have some notes about uh, moonology. So this is moon magic stuff, new moons, uh, first quarters, uh, full moons, things like that. I have a couple of notes about that. I also have my Aztec calendar notes as well, which are also, you know, spiritual um, events according to the Aztec Mesoamerican calendar. So let's get into it. Um, I think I'm going to start off with actually my handy dandy rainbow colorful boxes mega sticker book because um, I can always use a good, uh, a good box. So, well, actually, you know what? Let me see if the of this guy has yeah actually let's let's use some of the boxes in here because it kind of gives me that like aesthetic that i'm going for Ooh, why don't we pull for some of these pastel boxes here this is going to be perfect for spring so what i like about the faith calendar it already has some faith um religions already marked on here but i'm just going to go ahead and give them a whole box so first of all ramadan begins on sundown so i'm going to put a little box here to mark that i'm going to write ramadan down and then the next major holiday is vaisakhi this is a Hindu religion that's happening, a Hindu religion. This is a Hindu holiday happening on the 14th in honor of the solar new year and springtime. And then right after that, uh, on the 15th, we have Passover happening. This is a Jewish um, religion celebrating the release of um, the Israeli slaves. So that's an important occasion. And that's going to go all the way till the 23rd. So I'm also going to make a note that Passover ends on the 23rd here. Leave a comment down below um, if you celebrate Passover or if you are celebrating any other major religious or spiritual holiday this month. I would love to add it to my calendar. And then on the 15th as well, we have a Jane. Um, a Jain, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I just barely learned about this holiday. We have a Jain holiday called Mahavir Jayanti, it's celebrating the birth of Mahavir. Um, this is an ancient Indian religion, one of the oldest religions in the world. So uh, that is pretty cool. I'm actually going to give another box here to make a note of that and I might have to double box it. 
Okay, I'll add two boxes here. Ugh, this box is crooked. Oh no. Oh no. I swear I lay boxes down um, pretty straight until I'm on camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and white out this uh, pass over here because I'm gonna write it on the box anyway. So we're just gonna wipe that out. And I'm gonna pop that box down there. And of course, on the 17th, we have Easter. I'm going to give uh, myself a nice big box for Easter. So let's pop that down there and white out Easter. Palm Sunday, we have Palm Sunday up here on the 10th. So I'm just also gonna give the 10th a nice box for Palm Sunday. Wipe that out. And, and on the 24th, we have the Catholic Feast of Divine Mercy celebrated on the second Sunday of Easter. And I think it's mainly a Catholic holiday. So we have that going on on the 24th. I think that's all the major religions that I have noted down. And so the next thing I'm going to do is um, put down some stickers for my new moon and full moon occurrences this month. So actually on April 1st, which is today, we have a new moon in Aries. That's so exciting. So I'm gonna grab one of these boxes here and put that there on Friday. And I'm gonna write, um, I'm gonna add all the pen um, after I lay down all my stickers. And then on the 30th, no, on the 16th, we're going to experience a new moon in a Libra. Oh, no, a full moon in Libra, excuse me. And on the 30th, we're gonna have another, uh, new moon. This is actually going to be a solar eclipse in the constellation of Taurus, which is exciting. And let's see, on the 9th of the month, we're going to experience the first quarter in Cancer. And on the 23rd, we're going to experience the, the last quarter in Aquarius. So I'll put a sticker there for that. And then lastly, or not lastly, um, let's move on to the planetary. Okay, and then what else are we gonna experience? On the 5th of April, we're going to um, have the planet Venus entering Pisces. Uh, Venus rules love and emotion and beauty. So she's gonna be moving into uh, the constellation of Pisces. Uh, and honestly, guys, I don't particularly know like exact details of what various like astrological phenomena implies, like Venus entering Pisces. I have some idea of what that means because I do have an idea of what planets mean and what constellations mean, but I'm still learning what it means when planets go into various constellations or what the energy is when different um, elements in the sky interact. And part of keeping a faith planner and keeping note of all of these things, it's it's like for me a chance to learn. So when it happens, I'll actually, you know, I'll make a note of it in my planner. And then when the day comes, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to just check that out. Like on April the 5th, we have uh, Venus entering Pisces. And when Venus, when April the 5th comes, I'll see that note in my planner and then I'll go out of my way to, you know, spend five to 10 minutes just reading articles about what that means. So there's that. Also Jupiter enters, uh, and then also on the fifth, Jupiter is semi-sextile to Saturn, meaning that it's, it's, it's in a particular position in relation to the planet Saturn. On April 8th, Jupiter is sextile true node. So I'll make a little note of that. And then April 9th, we have our first quarter moon. April 10th, um, um, Mercury enters Taurus. So I'm just gonna add a little note there. And then on 11th, Saturn is squaring the true node. So let's add that there. 
And then April 12th, Jupiter is conjunct to Neptune. April 12th, let's put that down. April 14th, Mars enters Pisces. And then full moon in Libra on the 16th. The sun enters Taurus on the 19th. That's exciting. I'm going to add, I'm going to put a whole box to celebrate that. So 19th, we're going to add uh, the sun enters Taurus. That means Taurus season starts, by the way. And I am a Taurus in case that it was not apparent, if that was not obvious. I am a Taurus, so I love me, um, I love me my my Taurus season so let's see that's a little too big I might have to tone that down let's see Taurus okay maybe one of these mm. here we go Taurus my girl so I'm gonna put this right here awesome Taurus season starts and then April 20th Juno enters Pisces. Juno is a meteor, so let's make a note of that. Last quarter moon on the 23rd. Pluto turns retrograde on the 29th. That's my birthday. And on the 30th, Pallas enters Taurus, so I'm going to make a note of that as well. I'll add this sticker there. And then also on the 30th, we have our new moon solar eclipse. So we have a lot going on this, this month. All right, and then the last thing that I like making a note of is my Aztec calendar. So on April the 3rd, we're going to enter the era of the dog. So let me see if I can, uh, I'll use some of these little guys here. So dog, and then on the 16th, we have the era of the house. And then on the 29th, we have the era of vulture and usually i like drawing out the little um the little icons for each aztec calendar era so uh for those of you who don't know or unfamiliar with the mesoamerican aztec sacred calendar um it's a 260 day calendar and each era is um there's 20 eras and they're composed of 13 days each and they each are represented by a particular symbol and each era has a particular spiritual significance. So I have all of the, what each era stands for here in my spiritual appendix. And every 13 days we see a shift into a new era. And I like keeping track of, of that shift in, um, in the spiritual uh, Mesoamerican calendars. And I like drawing the actual like uh, design in my calendar, but there's a lot going on this month and there's something going on every single day that we see, you know, a, a change into a new era. So I think this month I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in everything. I'm going to write down what everything is and then we're going to come back once I am done. All right, I got all the pen down, so that's nice. And now I can just uh, get to decorating. I am so excited to decorate. This is probably my favorite part um, of setting up my spiritual calendar is getting all the beautiful decorations on the side. So I am loving these full box stickers to uh, give myself like a really nice and full sidebar. So I have this beautiful cosmic watercolor sticker book um, that I just got from the new release. And these are perfect to line the sidebar with. So we have those and I might get one of these nice quotes here. Uh, this one that says magic. I might pop that here at the top. Let's put that right there. Gorgeous. Um, and I'll look in my Peace Within sticker book. I do want to get some crosses to uh, put around the Easter and Palm Sunday. Um, boxes just so that I have those little decorations. I'll also put a cross, um, let's see, where should I put a cross? On Palm Sunday, on Feast of the Divine Mercy. I'll put 
put that there, two crosses. And what else should I, what else should I put in here? I want to get into my um, apothecary sticker book as well. So let's see what I can grab out of here. Hmm. These stickers are so gorgeous. Ooh. Let's see. Wow, these are beautiful. I love these so much. I'm definitely going to pick up another one of these once I'm done with this sticker book. I've already used a good amount of stickers from here. Um, you know, I guess since I use, um, especially since I've only gotten this book a few weeks ago. So really happy with these stickers. These bottles are really pretty. We could use some of those. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love these crystals. Maybe, maybe I'll pull for some of these crystals here. Put this one up here. It's a perfect spot for it. And then I might put another crystal sticker down here. Ooh, so pretty. What else can I get into? What else can I uh, sprinkle throughout this um, spread? Wow, these are so gorgeous. Maybe I'll put a little bottle. Oops, ripped that a little bit. I'll get a little bottle here, a little potion. I've been wanting to do more like um, spells. I got a spell book from Barnes and Nobles recently and it's just, I've been kind of just trying to get into doing more spell work, more ritual work, um, some, you know, intentional spiritual work and uh, Maybe I'll, I'll dip into that this this month. I'll try to be a little bit more um, on top of my spell work. So let's see what else I can get into here. I kind of want to get some like sparkles in here. So I'll pull for this uh, these stars. I'll just pop that right there. And let's see what else. Maybe a quote. Lost in a daydream. I love that right there. I'll put this maybe on this day right there. Oof, I love this cosmic watercolor sticker book so much. So pretty. What what a good sticker book. I can definitely see myself picking up another one of these. There's only a few sticker books that I have repurchased. Um, I think I've repurchased one of the Disney Oasis sticker books. And then I think I've repurchased uh, the Horizontal Layout sticker book and the Farmhouse sticker book. But I honestly try not to um, repurchase sticker books unless I've finished them completely. So we'll see, we'll see. How about one of these uh, moons? Maybe like up here. I think that's it. I think we are done with my uh, interfaith um spiritual calendar yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stop now before i just completely crowd up the entire thing let me see if there's a bible quote though that i can put on here as well i like some of these foiled quotes maybe the hallelujah one or the amen one i like the amen uh quote let's see let's pull that ah can't pull it up it's stuck my goodness. All right, there we go. Oops. And maybe I can put this. Mm, I kind of want to put it near Easter, but I feel like it's going to be crowded. I'll just put it there, right underneath Easter. And I think we are good. I really like how it came out. Oh, it's just giving me life right now. Yeah, I'm really happy. 
really happy with it. Let's see, as I look for more stickers to throw on here. You know how I be. But okay, yeah, that's it. I'm happy with it. Let's move on. Thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, plan with me. Actually, let me just go ahead and put these back onto the discs. I like seeing it um, on the discs. So we'll pop that in. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ah, love one another, yes. So there we go, we're on the discs now and happy with how it turned out. This is probably one of my favorite um, spiritual calendars that I have set up. Um, it's just, I'm a sucker for this like light pink pastel color palette. Y'all know that this is my aesthetic to a T, so really happy with it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.